So thank you for being here again, Dr. King. Can you talk about the actual neurostimulation therapy treatment? What does a patient need to know about the actual de uh, device, which is temporary, the installation and the treatment? Sure, and thank you for having me, Jen. Oh. <laughs> um, so with the, the neurostimulation therapy, um, what it is basically the, the device that we use it is non-surgical, non-invasive. Um, it's a temporary device that actually goes right on the ear, on the outside of your body. Um, and we leave it on for 10 to 12 days. Uh, essentially what it is, is a uh, small uh, programmed battery that has four wires with electrodes at the end of them. Um, and those electrodes are small. They have to fit on specific points on the earlobe, so they are small. Um, but one is the grounding electrode that goes behind the ear. And then the other three electrodes go on specific points on your ear. Um, and those points are chosen uh, based on the diagnoses that we're treating, um, what needs to be treated most that day or that time in the person's life. Um, and that's based on protocols that were approved by the FDA back in 2018. Um, and essentially what it's doing while it's on the ear is stimulating the vagus nerve um, and helping bring our system back to balance. So um, helping with inflammation, chronic pain, um, and uh, some of the other things that we've already discussed in detail. Um, so um, something to know about the electrodes, uh, there is a very, sm it's very small, very thin, very short, tiny needle in the center of each electrode. And that is so that we can pierce past the skin. The skin acts as a barrier, um, you know, it's, it's our first line of defense of our immune system. It's a very important organ, um, but it does also block some of the um, you know, stimulation to the vagus nerve. Um, and the ear is the only place in the body that we can access the vagus nerve um, through the skin. That's the only place that innervates the skin, so that's why the device goes on the ear. Um, but the needles get past that skin barrier just enough so that we get a much better response for treatment. Um, and of course, we uh, you know, sanitize, we use all sterile equipment and sanitize the ears to minimize risk of infection. Um, and that's not normally an issue and is of course treatable if we needed to do that. Um, Side effects? Side effects. Um, most of the side effects are, are positive because, uh, as we discussed, it um, you know improves mental health. So it helps address anxiety, depression, PTSD, um, OCD. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, obsessive compulsive disorder and other impulsive behaviors um, will improve sleep for people. Withdrawal who, symptoms mm -hmm. from dialing down on medications. Right, and so, and also it helps with sleep for people um, who are struggling with sleep. Um, and, and for those who are on medications, particularly opioid medications, if their pain responds well enough that they're able to come off of their opioid medications, um, it's also been approved for opioid withdrawal. So it can make it easier for people to taper off of those medications if appropriate and um, you know, and if desired. Mm -hmm. If they still need them, that's okay too. It doesn't interfere with the treatment, um, which is wonderful. So if, if people need both, so um, the that's fine. So other mm -hmm. pain management is working better. So it's great compatible with any other chronic pain treatments. Right, right. Um, and as, as far as, um, you know, risks, really the, the, you know, infection, if that were to happen, um, which again, doesn't them. generally happen. And then the other thing that would be a somewhat common, um, issue for us to deal with is, uh, we do use a fair amount of adhesive to make sure the device stays on for those full 10 days. Mm -hmm. Um, we do have something to put on to act as a barrier in between to really minimize such a reaction. Um, and of course, we can also treat with um, whatever works for that patient for the reaction to the adhesive, often antihistamines. Um, but we, you know, we have methods to deal with that if someone has an adhesive allergy. Okay. So it's not too much of an issue for that. How do you pick which side to treat, uh, to apply the device? Right. So the preference to have the best response is to put it on the ear on the same side where the pain is the worst. Okay. Okay. Um, and, and it's important not to sleep on that side. And so 
I make that determination uh, on an individual basis with the person. If, if they are not able to sleep on any other side, then we figure out an individual um, okay. you know, solution for that individual Along patient. Along with the points of stimulation, since it's programmed specifically per patient. Correct. Per their chronic pain. Right. Okay. And as time for if someone needs subsequent treatments, um, those those points may change mm -hmm. depending on how one thing has healed. Because um, a lot yeah. of people who come in have collected a large number of chronic pain issues over the years mm -hmm. when this was not an available option and aren't responding well to other things. So we can adjust things as we as time goes on um, to really get the full picture. And most of the time, even say I'm if I'm focused on their shoulder pain because that's the worst. Uh, for that person, for example, um, these points often will improve pain in other parts of the body as well. Okay. And the biggest response is where I'm focusing um, for that day. Okay. Thank you. That's really helpful. Thanks. You're welcome.